Hello everyone, and welcome back to a zoo game comparison, the series where I take a big exhibit that I design and build it in several different zoo games. So, and if you haven't watched the first episode where I go through the design, I'd highly recommend you check that out so you can follow the series a little bit better, and maybe just watch all the other episodes if you haven't already. But anyway, today we're building in Planet Coaster, which is not an exact zoo game, but using the Maker Toolkit item, you can and act like you have animals in the game. So, if you don't know the maker, if you don't know what the maker's toolkit item items are, they're kind of just models that players can import into the game. So, people have been importing and making animals in Planet Coaster. So it's yeah, they're not exactly uh, they don't move around and stuff. They're just kind of animatronics. So they don't move. There's no actual management like there will be in Planet Zoo, but. It's, a fun, it's like a good way to get animals in here, and I also use two fences to build in this uh, the zoo because I don't have the I think the the studios DLC comes with some fences, but I don't have any of the DLCs. So this is a pure base game build with three, a few TMTK items. But anyway, I have been working on a zoo myself in Planet Coaster, and I do think it's quite cool. Like. Before we even knew Planet Zoo existed or was going to be a thing, people have been building zoos in Planet Coaster just to kind of get a more modern zoo feel. But now that we know Planet Zoo is just around the corner, we obviously everyone's always going to switch to that. Like my Planet Coaster zoo series yet, I'm not finished with it. I'll probably have one more episode, and it's going to be incomplete because I'm gonna want to move on to Planet Zoo because that one actually has actual animals that move and proper management and stuff, so I don't really care for management, but I want to see cool animals and all the items also seem better suited in Planet Zoo, like the rocks seem a lot more suited to building, so the rocks in Planet uh, Coaster, which I'm using it now, isn't that bad, but you know, the ones in Planet uh, Coaster seem, you know, Planet, Planet Zoo seem to be a lot better suited for the zoo type build and the foliage as well seems a lot better. So yeah, so this game is kind of a forerunner to Planet Zoo, only this one obviously you make theme parks in, which I haven't really done, most of my time has been building my zoo in uh, Planet Coaster actually. <laughs> I built like one roller coaster and forgot about the actual theme park part of the zoo. But anyway, so in Planet uh, Zoo you could probably expect a really cool building system like the one you see yeah, in Planet Coaster because we have the piece by piece system which is really flexible, allows you to do so much in this game, it's really one of the best things of the game and that's obviously going to carry over in Planet Zoo. And with Planet Zoo, as we you saw, maybe saw my last episode where I played Zoo Tycoon 2013, yeah so that game doesn't have any creative flexibility but it does have some really pretty animals and it seems those animals are going to come through in Planet Zoo, so yeah, I think definitely can't wait for Planet Zoo, I'm obviously going to have the final episode will be on Planet Zoo, hopefully on Thursday next week but I think that's all I have to talk about for Planet Coaster right now, so I guess I'll let Reha, what, what am I saying? I'll let the rest of the time lapse footage play and I'll see you in a real time portion then so, check you in a bit
Okay, welcome to the real-time portion. So, let's go check out the bear exhibit. So I think, and I think normally I start by the elevated park. So we can walk up here and we can see our bear exhibit. Lovely. I did use some terrain instead of rocks to actually make this wall. I think it looks a little, it looks decent I think. Can be a bit better. Thanks in Planet Zoo once comes out, I'll try and use an actual rock wall. So yeah, and I will put, uh, I have a blueprint of this and I think I will put it on the theme makers, not theme makers, the Steam Workshop. So if you wanted to check this out by yourself or maybe have your own Planet Coaster Zoo, then you can put this in. Yeah, unfortunately the terrain won't carry through and neither will this elevated path, so you're gonna have to put those two things in yourself, I'm afraid. Yeah, let's go check the viewing. I do have an archer here for scale because they are the approximate size of the guest. Yeah, he's shooting at a bear. That's exactly what's happening. Okay, let's... Uh, nope. Yeah, I can't select him. I'm sorry, I tried. I was trying to get rid of him. But here we have a bear chilling upon a rock. And you can see he doesn't do much. He just stands up and goes down. He doesn't move around anywhere. Yeah, we also don't have underwater viewing because there wouldn't really be much need for underwater viewing in a theme park game. I don't think they expected us to build zoos and whatnot. And this water thing, the way they do the water effects are really cool because it's kind of special effects. Let's see if we can go here. Yeah, it's just special effects that you can put down and that acts as the water thing. So that's, that's I think, is a really cool part of the Planet franchise. It does carry over in Planet Zoo. Only I think they have actual better waterfalls and stuff in Planet Zoo, so can't wait to try that. I didn't actually get my hands on the waterfall stuff in the beta. Now let's move along this way. This is one of the pencils I was talking about. This is a TMTK item. Oh yeah, and sorry for the time lapse. I didn't get the foliage or me building this climbing structure. I kind of ran out of space without realizing it, so... Yeah, you can see it now, though. I did add these, um electric fence type things that way the bears can't climb over so I thought that was a neat detail because Planet Zoo allows you to be like so detailed like that you can add that in without it having been pre-built on some fence already so yeah let's head round the back and then we can go so I've, I I kind of act like this is a staff gate I've been doing this a bit in my Planet Coaster Zoo series so this is where the staff will come behind there aren't any actual staff paths in this game, so technically guests can walk up here. Yeah, and here we have the gate. This is this uh, little fence here, this gate thing. Also a TMTK theme makers toolkit item. A bit more of that electric fencing on top to stop the bears climbing out. And over here we have the bear shelter. It is empty though. I decided not to fill it up. Because in Planet Zoo, I'll probably do an actual bear shelter and that will act as hard shelter for the bears. So yeah, let's walk along here. We just have some rocks and trees. Here we have the climbing frame, which due to the flexible nature, we can make a climbing frame however we want to. So, hey there Mr. Bear, he's chilling on the climbing structure. Here we have the pool, so the bear can take a swim in. Get another bear chilling up there on a rock. And we have the elevated path over here. Actually, it's a bit low compared to all the other times I built it. Built a bit higher. Here we have the river. The bears can cross over. And here's the shelter. So this is supposed to be an open door and that's supposed to be a closed door. And when Planet Zoo releases, I will do the interior. It's just there's not a lot of interior items you can kind of put in the shelter. It does look kind of bare. <laughs> no pun intended. But anyway, yeah, that's that's it, I think, for this episode. So I'll leave you off with some cinematics. Like I said, if you want the blueprint, I will put it on the workshop. And I'll see you for the next episode, which will be in Planet Zoo. Well, probably be the final episode. So yeah, I'll leave you with some cinematics and see you. Bye.